All right, let's get some music playing. Okay, so what we have here is the mid blaze it uh, strategy, and what I'm gonna do is kind of walk through it frame by frame to kind of show you some of the subtleties that are required in order to get this a little bit more consistent. It kind of seems like a crapshoot at first. So what you want to do, you'll see, I fell it here because I pressed left. Not only do I press left too late, but I jumped a little bit too high. So we're going to wait for the next attempt. And basically the difference between Blaze It with Luigi and Blaze It with Mario is that Luigi, you want to hold left whenever he's ascending. So when he's in his upward trajectory, whatever you want to call it, his ascent, uh, you'll see that's when I press left. I don't have the uh, D-pad on the screen or anything, but so just keep watching. So he's still in his upward trajectory. Now that right there. So you see those leaves or whatever those things are in the wall? It's like, I think I press left right when he touches that green leaf. No, not not right when, hold on, let me see here. Right there. So you see he's still in his upward movement or whatever. I'm just gonna go with trajectory. And he's, it looks like he's going back down, but really he's still in his upward movement. And that's when you tap left right there. And you also do a medium, um, let me see what button it is here. I guess it's B. It's been so long since I played <laughs> Super Nintendo, sadly. Um, so you press B very... Not too lightly, but it's not a strong B press. It's kind of like... Uh, I don't know, it's hard to explain, but you don't give it a firm B press. It's kind of a, a mid-grade <laughs> B press, if you will. So... It's not a flick. It's not that light of a B press, but you get what I'm saying. And then, of course, hold left, and then while you're holding left, mash, 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 mash as hard as you can. So you can kind of see the general location, and, and again, this is me um, holding right at the very beginning of this section, right? And I don't tap left at all. I don't stutter, nothing. And uh, I press start here and create a safe state to preserve my pixels and everything. So you'll see right there, I make the save state. Still holding right. Getting ready. So let me see where I jump. Okay, I jump right here. Hold on, let me see. Right here. Yeah. Oh, and this is uh, Mr. Ingve Malmstein in the background. Okay. You see, we're still in that upward ascent trajectory, whatever <laughs> the word is. And I start pressing left there. At least I feel like he's still going up. I, I don't feel like he starts falling. Um, and if he is, it's like very, very, very late. See, I'm kind of studying this as I explain it. Because some new realizations tonight and figuring this out, or just studying it in general, is the degree of, like, your button press, how firm or how light it is. It's very, like, in the middle. Let's find another song. Okay. 
All right, so... Yeah, it's right there on that blotch or that dot. Like, right there is where I jump. And if I could describe the button press, it would be like... Like, this would be a flick, all right? That would be an obvious flick. Or you can do... Uh, like this. That's very light. For me, I'll pretend that this is the button right here that I would press. Let me get this in the camera ready. I would do like... I don't know, it's very hard to explain because it's, it's incredibly subtle, but it is not a full A press or B press. It is somewhere in the middle of full and very light. And that'll give you the, the specific um, height that you need to get this like mid-level blaze it instead of the flick blaze it or whatever you call it. Yeah, so I'm pressing left, I'm pretty sure right in this this is kind of a ballpark area so I think it's right there if I press I mean I'm holding left and then of course mashing the jump button here while I'm holding left still but I don't mash it very much There's 314, that's really good. I usually get either... I don't think I've ever got a 315. And more often than not, I get a 313. So you can see, we'll see some of the failures here too. There's a win. Let's just play it kind of... I was gonna say normal speed, it's not normal speed, but this is V dub. So it's just not slow down at all. And now we'll slow down. Yeah, so in my opinion, for what it's worth, I am pretty goofy. Um, it all amounts to your B press. And it's three things. The B press, when you hold left, um, and your mashing technique, which is actually less involved, I think, with Luigi than it is with Mario, so don't overshoot it. Mario, you have to... I don't know. It's a, I wouldn't say it's more nuanced, but it's just a little different with Mario. Maybe on the more aggressive side. I don't know. Let's see what I get here. 314 again. I, <clears throat> I'm telling you, it's not often that I can get a 314, especially in a run. Like in practice, I mean, with safe state, sure but in runs, it's hard. So here I start finding my, um, finding that sweet spot, and already the consistency's building, um, just because I'm getting used to um, how firm I need to make that B press, right? And I'm getting used to where I'm pressing left, which is right around here, and I also figured out, see, I said it's three, it's four things. It's making sure you you do the B press because you want to be at this height and you want to be in the upward motion. You don't want to be falling when you press left, right? You do not want to be falling. Whereas oftentimes in Mario, if memory serves me correctly, you are well into your descent before you press left. Uh, it seems like it's a lot earlier with Luigi. Now I'm just screwing around here. But yeah, that's... I don't know, that's the best way I can... I mean, I'm sure I can explain it better than this, but I'm not going to edit this video. This is just me riffing. Um, 
but I hope that that makes some sense of this trick, especially doing it uh, kind of in the mid region of the wall instead of down here. Um, I, I don't think it's any less difficult up here than it is down here and vice versa. In fact, it's more advantageous to do it in the middle because you might accidentally do a wall jump and then the wall jump will get you, you know, up here instead of down here in the marinara. So yeah, I think if anything, you should probably go for the middle one always. Knowing me, if I ever come back to this, I'll probably try both just, you know, just because it's me and I like to spice things up, but... I know ultimately I'm, br I'm probably going to stick with the middle one for this for what I just said. The reasons I just said is that it's kind of uh, got a fallback plan. If you screw it up, you'll maybe wall jump up here instead of laying down here. So, But yeah, that's kind of what I figured out, and um, I hope that helps. See you, Evad.